How's it going, dudes? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is the second installment of the Q&A series, which still does not have a name. Uh, so leave your suggestions for this name series in the comments and for a chance to be featured in next week's installment or the next video. <laughs> leave your questions down in the comments of this video and maybe they'll be featured into the next one. Who knows? Gotta be a good question, though. Or it could be a bad question. It's just gotta be a question and maybe. Thanks so much for on the first video. I appreciate all the support on it. Really appreciate it. Did I mention I appreciate it? Anyway, we're gonna get into the first question again. What's in the flex case? I'm not telling you guys. You can keep asking. You know, you can if you want to, but I'm not telling you guys until I don't know when. But I, I will eventually. There will be a day where it will be revealed what's in my flex case. But until that day comes, you're just gonna have to wait be patient. My mama says, good things come to those who wait. I think. Baylor's Bricks asks, what is my favorite clone? And I get this question all the time. A lot of people say, you know, their favorite clone is, you know, Rex or Cody or Echo or Fives. Mine's Boba Fett. Yeah, I said Boba Fett. He's a clone. You can't argue with me, all right? He may be an unaltered clone, but he is a clone, okay? Well, maybe he's a little altered. I can't remember. This is a great question. Inax Raw, I'm saying your name right, asks if I could shrink down to a minifig size, which Lego build would I live in? Uh, I've given this question quite a bit of thought, and I'd have to say with the Ultimate Lego series, I'm only named Falcon. Now, does it have all the um, housing utilities I need? No, but it's very spacious. It's a ship, and I'm assuming if I'm shrinking down, the possibilities are endless with this uh, question, and I could probably fly the ship, so then I could also have a ship that I could live in as the size of a minifigure. This sounds like a movie. I'm gonna write a script. Kristen asks, when I get the space to build a big Lego set, which one am I going to build first? And currently, I just got some new shelves in my Lego room, and I think I probably have the most room for the Titanic. I could put on two, uh, put it on top of two shelves. So I think I'm gonna go for the Titanic, although I really, I really wanna build my UCS Lunar Falcon. But it's really big. Brick Kid official essentially asks, what is a minifigure I would like Lego to make? And I've given this a lot of thought. A lot of people are thinking, Star Wars? Nah, I want a Moon Knight minifigure so bad. And I'm really hoping with the rumored uh, Series 2 Marvel series that we get a Moon Knight, or at least a Mr. Knight. Some sort of Moon Knight representation would be awesome. Another cool minifigure I'd like to see, a new Phase 2 Captain Rex would be really cool because unpopular opinion, um, I don't think the Clone Wars Phase 2 Captain Rex looks all that good. I said it. Flame me in the comments. I do not care. That's just, it's not a bad figure. It's just, it's all right. Yawn underscore uh, MRL asks, uh, is there a theme that has lost a lot of value? They don't care. They just want to build a lot of Lego. Um, let me think on this one. Chima? Hit inside, most of the original LEGO IP themes from the like mid-2000s, essentially my childhood, I think Power Miners, Atlantis, uh, Agents, uh, and those are sets that I'm pretty sure aren't too expensive, but are, you know, a decent bit of bricks. As long as you buy them like pre-owned, anything brand new sealed, yeah, it's gonna cost you quite a bit of penny because, penny, because they're, you know, they're mint, but, uh, I think Chima and Hinside are like the two that come to my mind most recently. That and probably Lego City. Those sets, those sets are pretty affordable. If you could keep only one of the sets that you have now, which one would you keep? Hmm. I feel like I've answered this question before. Now, although the Ultimate Collector Series Slave 1 is my favorite set of all time, I think I'm going to go with my 2002 copy of the Django Fett Slave 1, given it's a heck of a lot more rare and much harder to replace than the Ultimate Collector Series Slave 1. Rob the Builder asks, who is your favorite brick talker? <sighs> it's you. It's you, Rob. You're posting consistently. You make me laugh. You entertain me. You have informative content. Only the best is good enough, and you provide some of the best content on the platform. You're also one of my bestest buddies and one of my bestest friends, and I love you, no homo.
Brickman USA asks, what set are you most excited to pick up out of 2023 reveals so far? Great content. Keep it up. Well, thank you so much, by the way. Um, too, there's not, there hasn't been too much that has been revealed um, as of now. Um, I'd say Rivendell looks really good. I'm not even a, like a Lord of the Rings fan. I just think that set looks beautiful. And then the Up House. I'm a big Disney fan. I'm a big part. I'm a part of a Disney family. And the Up House looks beautiful really good i'm a little disappointed that there's no kevin involved with the set but for what it is at the price point and what you get for that price point i think is a really solid really solid set i'm looking forward to it total not dj asks do i own any chima sets hmm If I did own any Chima sets, they'd be in this trash can, and I'm not seeing any in here, so I don't think so, no. No Chima sets here. And I think we're gonna wrap it up there with that question. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment down in the description for a chance to be featured in the next installment of this series. Let me know also what I should name this series, because we still don't have a name. It's gotta be something. Maybe just Dom's Q&A series. Leave it like really concise. No, I hate that. But again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Peace.